going on YouTube? It's your boy that guy named Jay checking in, checking in. Uh, we are out here, man, out on 64, headed uh, westbound. Got a load uh, going to Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, of course, coming out of Norfolk, you know. Um, you know, I'm in the port, so everything's come, coming from Norfolk, Portsmouth, in that area. Uh, so yeah, so basically I've been doing it for like a week now, week and a half, whatever. And, uh, you know, I'm just getting adjusted, you know what I mean? Getting adjusted to the way things run, uh, uh, you know, the system, the, the most productive way and, you know, uh, productive way to drive and make the most money and blah, blah, blah. Y'all yeah, know all that shit. So... Last week I did two loads. Uh, one went to Kentucky. One went to Upstate New York. It was kind of like a like the first stop was in Virginia, and then it was like a backhaul, I guess, if you will, up in Upstate. So uh, all together, um, I haven't gotten my statement, my settlement yet. I think I get that like Friday. Um, but basically, that's going to be about uh, I want to say. 1100 before anything comes out. I think the Kentucky run was like 500 plus, and then the upstate New York joint was like 600. And um, so uh, when I get that settlement, I'll probably show you, or maybe I won't. I don't know. I'll decide what I'm going to do. But uh, and that's pretty much how this week is going to be as well. Because uh, as you can see, we got a little snow, I guess, over the weekend and Monday or whatever. Oh no, today's Monday. What am I talking about? But we got snow over the weekend and shit. And what that did was uh, I would I would have left yesterday on Sunday um, towards Kentucky. But, you know, they didn't want to send any drivers out to that snow. So that's dope to know. You know, they're not going to make you try to force you to do anything you're not comfortable with. And I ain't even going to lie. If it was like a straight shot, like flat, you know what I'm saying? I, I probably would have been like, yo, I'd do it. Like if it had been like straight down 90, well then again, North Carolina got hit pretty bad, but, you know, straight down 95, I might have tried to tough it out, but because of when, the only downside about this gig, if any, to me, is, well, it is, a, let me not do that, but the only, the one downside is, like, most of the loads that are going out, you got to go through West Virginia, so this time of the year, you know, an uh, uh, inch, two inches of snow, going through West Virginia, man, it can, it can make for a long day, you know what I'm saying, not an impossible day, but a long day nonetheless, so, um, that's where I'm headed to now, but besides that, man, I mean, I haven't had, a, uh, like, I guess that big check yet, you know, the three long loads, three, uh, uh, uh OTR loads, so far it's just been two OTR loads in a week, it'll be the same this week, but I'm not even gonna lie, working three days a week and uh, I know this ain't gonna stay true. I don't know, it just look like a stay true. Don't you hate that? When the car pull up on you real fast. I had to check my speed. Uh, a car pull up on you real fast. And it, it looks like a damn unmarked car, an unmarked uh, uh, police car, and then all it is is just a regular car, got dummy. Uh, like, you know, everybody know the universal state trooper cars. You got the Crown Vicks, you got the damn Impalas, the Ford Explorers, the, the Chevy uh, Tahoes, you know what I'm saying? So anytime they, they get behind you, you know, you just, you know, and the sad part is you don't be doing nothing wrong. You be just driving and you just see them that you just clinch up. But anyways, back on point. To be able to work three days a week and still make a thousand to eleven hundred dollars, man. I, I, that's just not bad to me. Like last week I was home Sunday night, uh, Monday, no, excuse me, Sunday night, Tuesday night. I was home Wednesday night. Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. Out of those days, I was completely off Sunday, Friday. Hold on, let me think. 
Yeah, Friday. I drove back Friday. I think I was off like two and a half days where I won't do nothing. But the other times it was just like I only worked a couple of hours. See the way the schedule goes, like I told you before, is if you run in three loads, three long loads, you leave out Sunday afternoon, back home Monday night, and then you sleep in there. I ain't gonna say sleep in there, but you can take like a 10, 12, even a 14 hour break if you want to. And so it's like your times when you're home, it's not like you're just home for a quick eight hours or 10 hours. You're taking 12, 14 hour breaks and still able to work, work productively, even running three long loads a week. Hell, it's running, to now running two long ones. Man, you got dumb time to chill, you know what I'm saying? So, but some people don't like that. Some people will say, oh, I, you know, I want to work, work, work. And I, I get it, but you just gotta, you know, you gotta take your good weeks and your bad weeks. That's what I'm trying to, I guess, teach myself, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, it's gonna be some people that's gonna hear this shit and they're gonna be like, man, a thousand dollars to eleven hundred? Ah, I can't do nothing with that, blah, 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 blah. And I just, I'm not even gonna combat them, man. I just gotta get to a point one of the biggest mistakes I've made in my truck career is just getting caught up in what the next nigga doing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck how much you make. I don't give a fuck, you know, how many hours you gotta put in. I don't give, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. At the end of the day, my focus on what makes me happy, what makes my family happy, period. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just not gonna be happy trying to chase everybody else and doing whatever works for everybody else. It's just not gonna happen that way. It's, gonna, it's just gonna be, you know, that's what's gonna lead to the inconsistencies and the erratic decisions because it's just like, I'm just going with the flow. I'm rolling with the wind. The highest bidder, you know what I'm saying? I'm like a bitch on cash app. You know what I'm saying? Whoever got the highest bid, that's who, that's what I'm going with. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, that's just what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. Uh, when I make my 15, 16, $1,700 checks, all right, cool. Let's just say 16. It's 15, 1600 all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna brag about them. I'm gonna be happy. Just put them back and put them in the bank. Don't touch it. When I make a thousand dollar check, I ain't gonna get upset. You know what I'm saying? Put it in the bank. Cause again, one of my other biggest problems is my money management. And then, you know what I'm saying? I know from when I worked for this company before, as soon as I was making money, I was spending it. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a position now to where I can do like I was doing on the road. Uh, which is why I was able to come home with some money and not work for two weeks and not do nothing and still not miss a beat. But um, if I, you know, so I could do the same thing here, man. Like everything that I wanted to do OTR with the last company, I'm more than capable of doing it with this company. I'm just able to be home. So it's a win win for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm about to start getting into some videos, getting more in detail about certain reasons why I came home and just things to that nature. And it's just, that's just what it is, man. That's the update. That's, that's, that's what's been going on. Probably a little boring video, but hey, it is what it is, man. It ain't no drama. It ain't no, I'm actually happy. I'm actually, you know what I'm saying? Feeling good about myself. So it's not going to come off as me being depressed and crying and all that. You know what I'm saying? So if that's what you're looking for, you ain't finna get too many more of those videos. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because I'm in my happy place. I'm home. I'm chilling. I got some things that I need to work on that maybe I was running from going on the road, but now that I'm home, I can really deal with some, the real issues in my life, not just trucking wise, but like real personal, you know, I told you about my depression, my health, things to that effect. I can really start attacking that shit like I was doing when I was local before, you know what I'm saying? So, but anyways, uh, as always, stay safe, stay positive, stay productive. God, family trucking, man, go.